I wanted to experiment with the Arduino microcomputer, so this is what I came up with. That's it. It's a light switch. I built it around this hundred-year-old knife switch some guy named Frankenstein put up on eBay. It's got a heavy slate base, thick copper conductors, the original three fuses are in it, just beautiful. So I sketched out some plans, scratched out some code, hooked it up to the Arduino, and... It's a light switch, here in my home studio. Oh, but whatever you do, don't touch it here. Or here. Just kidding. I built it to be safe. Let me show you how it works. Here's the power supply. It runs at a nice, safe 9 volts. Here's the Arduino with a piggyback circuit that handles the MP3 sounds. I can add or change the sounds to anything I like from an SD flashcard. Below that is the relay circuitry that's controlled by the Arduino to safely switch the high voltage light circuit. Oh, and here's an old fashioned vacuum tube just because it looks cool. Here's the audio amplifier. It plays the sounds triggered by the Arduino through this massive speaker. It can get really loud, but I usually set it really low. You can imagine why. Here's the volume control. This small knife switch turns off the sound altogether. You still get the light show though. And back on. Now normally you'd never want to touch a piece of electrical equipment like this. That could be fatal. But that's what makes this so much fun. Here's the touch sensitivity adjustment. Now let's take a look at the interface between my knife switch project and the home wiring. Here I've still got my old dimmer switch in series with the knife switch working normally. This switch here bypasses the entire knife switch rig. It also reboots the Arduino in case there's a problem. It was a really fun and challenging project. I learned a lot, and it still gives me a chuckle every day when I use this thing.